We've moved into an automated era where drones are pretty basic and normal. And we even have robotic bees to do the work of bees that have died off, and we still need them for agriculture. But one company has answered another question that everyone clearly is asking, what about bats? There is a new <laughs> robotic bat, or rather- I like nobody was asking that <laughs> question. I love that you really tried to push it. You're like, what about bats? No, <laughs> it's technically a flying fox, mm -hmm. which is- Flying foxes are bats, you know it's that. A, right? It's in the subgroup, super bats. So they're very big. I think we have a video from the company that created them, Festo. <laughs> So it does have computer connectivity to make up for a bat's echolocation that it's able to help itself uh, traverse different areas, get into smaller nooks, uh, not crash into things constantly. And it has a honeycomb structure kind of fabric that enables it to keep flying even when it does kind of mess up and get damaged. It's kind of cute. I find the way that they're able to electronically simulate um, a bat's flight pattern and motion is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. It uses a motion tracking system as well and two infrared cameras to more simulate the flight path of a bat because it's not just something that looks like a bat, it needs to also act like a bat and be able to move its wings, have very similar acting material in its wings, uh, which, are, would, which would be very different from a bird per se. I just want to know why. Why <laughs> do we need this? I'm very impressed. It's sort of like, can we do it? Yes, but should we? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a lot of time spent on something that I don't necessarily see the value in the science. But I maybe, get it. maybe it exists. I just, I don't. I was like, that's a cool toy that they made. I mean, there are actually a lot of robotic creatures that we've made for whatever right. reason, including octopus tentacles, herring gulls, a kangaroo, flying penguin blimps, and giant butterflies on top of the bees I mentioned off the top, which do serve a purpose, which is to pollinate our crops and flowers and make it so we don't all starve to death because the bees are dying. I'm not sure. I feel sure. like we should just resolve the reason why the bees are dying yeah. and stop like, you know what our answer is? Robots, like screw it. Let's just create more robots <laughs> and like. You know what, forget the environment. Let's make a new super robot environment. I don't see this going wrong. I've never seen a sci-fi movie. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. But it is kind of cool. What do you feel about the intersection of nature and robots? And does it serve a purpose or is it just fun to look at? Please let us know.